This is Black Hole, a reverb plugin from Eventide, and as you can see, as I move this ribbon control, several of the other controls move as well. This is one of the many useful features we'll be looking at in this video as we look at the current bargains from Plugin Boutique. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. We'll be getting back to Black Hole later, as well as talking about one of my favourite free plugins that I've ever shown you from Plugin Boutique. But first of all, let's talk about something really big, really quickly. This is Ozone 10 Advance. It took me 18 seconds to master a song with it, which went from this... This is RX-10 standard. I used it to get rid of this annoying squeak on a guitar, which went from this to this. This is Tonal Balance Control 2. I use it every time my ears get fatigued to keep my mix sounding balanced. This is Neutron 4. Think mixing with a heavy dose of artificial intelligence. This is Nectar 3 Plus, an absolute must for vocals. Neoverb, an extremely gorgeous and organic reverb. And this is a whole bunch of other useful plugins. Now this is what you should be paying for all of these plugins, which are included in Music Production Suite 5 Universal Edition. But this is what you'll actually pay if you buy it from Plugin Boutique today. This is Foundation's Nylon Guitar, a free library which works with, pay attention, the free version of Contact, Contact Player. All you really need to know about it is it sounds like this. Now, if you've heard of the Foundation series at all, you'll know that what they do is they take regular instruments, in this case a guitar, and then they blend it in with this textured sound here. And that's where we get that kind of dreamy sound. There's other features in there as well. We've got an ADSR envelope there. We've got some sort of sequencing controls there, and we've got some effects. But basically, you get that beautiful sound out of the box. I suggest that you head over to Plugin Boutique right now. Follow the link in the description where you can download this wonderful free instrument. You know, this is the third month in a row that I've covered bargains at Plugin Boutique, and I'd really like your feedback so that we can improve. Let me know in the comments down below, what's the favorite type of plugin that you like me to cover? Effects or virtual instruments? Let me know all about that. And also, so far, have you picked up an amazing plugin that you're very, very pleased with? I'd love to hear all about that now. Back to the video. The plugin I'm about to show you solves a problem that you didn't know you had, and it does it wonderfully. I'm working in this project where I've got a main vocal and several harmony vocals as well. I'll just play you a little section of the chorus, which sounds like this. Just go. And you'll notice on the lead vocal here, rather than having a chain of plugins, I've just got one plugin there. It's called Chain Leader. And if I open it up, I'll just pin it up there. You can see it's one of a pair of plugins called Cashmere Chain. And it's a container for all of the regular plugins I would have in my vocal chain. So I've got a preamp here, I've got an EQ, I've got a compressor, and I've got a DSer. And you may be asking me, Mike, why on earth would you put all of these plugins inside of a container? I'm going to show you in a moment because it's very, very cool. One of the things I would often want to do is take a chain like this and copy and paste it to other channels. And the other channels I would do it to in these case is all of these harmony uh, vocals that we can see over here. Now you may be asking again, why would you use this plugin to do that, Mike? You can just copy and paste them all over. 
Yes, you can, but this solves a problem that occurs when you do that. Let's just go ahead and do it. So as I say, this is the leader plugin. I'm going to go ahead and insert the follower plugin. OK, so I'm just going to go to chain follower and insert it onto this second channel. I'll just move it over to the right hand side of the screen so you can see which one is which. Now you'll notice the one on the left is part of a group called Group A down here. I'm just going to go and assign the one on the right to Group A as well. I'll do that now. And voila, we have all of the same plugins in the chain with the second uh, channel here that we've applied it to. Now, again, you'll still be asking, yeah, 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 why do I need a plugin for this? I can just copy and paste. And this is where it gets really cool. Let's make some adjustments to this first plugin, which is the preamp here, okay? So I'll just open that up over that side, and I'll open it up with the second instance as well, and that has just appeared there. I'll just move it over there. So we've got our original chain on the left, and our second chain on the right. Let's just make a change to this plugin here. Just going to make some frequency adjustments here with the EQ. I'll move this slider and ah, this is where the first bit of magic appears. Any changes that we make to the to the leader plugins will be reflected with the follower plugins across many, many channels if that's what we want it to do. This is something or an advantage that you don't get with copy and paste. Remember, we're recording the same vocalist, the same microphone, etc. So we're often going to want to make the same changes, but it's laborious to have to go through all of the plugin instances to do that. But let me show you something else, which is really rather neat. This time I'm going to make a change to this control here, yeah? But watch what happens. I'm moving that control. It's being reflected on the second plugin, but there's another control which is moving down here, yeah? Not by the same amount, but it is moving relatively. That's because this plugin has a feature called macros. We can open up the macros. You can see I set them up here with these two controls. Took me a few seconds because we've got this learn feature. Just click on that and it learns the movement of the controls. And I can set up different minimums and maximums, which is why those controls are not moving by exactly the same amount. So not only can we get the changes of one control reflected to another control, but it can also be reflected across to another instance in another channel. Very, very, very powerful indeed. And quickly, let me show you one more thing which I really like. It's a small thing, but it's so useful. I'm just going to play this track again and look at what happens in this third column here. Just go. You saw some values changing there. What they are is the RMS uh, loudness change um, from before the plugin was used to after the plugin was used. This is super useful, especially if you're gain staging, because sometimes plugins just make things louder, especially in their default state. And that's exactly what was happening here with this CLA2A Waves plugin here. Yeah, let's just get rid of these two. I'm going to open up that plugin here so we can see what's going on. In fact, let's open it up over here for our second instance as well. Now, if we play the track again, just go. There's quite a big RMS difference. This is simply making it louder because the gain is set very high, but it was different for each side because they're different performances, yeah? So anyway, let's make that change that we would want to make. So I'm just going to turn the output gain down a little bit on this plugin. Of course, it's being reflected on the right-hand side. I'll play again just go. and adjust. So now I've kind of volume matched that. So we're getting the compression without that just sounding louder because it's turned up louder with the gain. Both All of those changes got reflected on both sides and I was able to monitor it here with this really useful uh, feature in this plugin. You'd think this is going to be pretty expensive, hey? But if you head over to Plugin Boutique at the moment, you'll see that normally this plugin is $49, but currently you get $20 off so it's just $29.
As we saw in the intro, Black Hole from Eventide is a reverb plugin which has a really cool feature which I'm going to get onto later. But first of all, I just want to quickly mention some of the other unique features that this reverb plugin has. A lot of the controls are the same as other reverb plugins, but there are some unique ones. Starting off with this one, Gravity, okay. When it's in this positive position or positive value, it's just got the sound of a regular reverb. But when we move this gravity control back to a negative value, then we get a kind of a reverse reverb. Okay, that's cool. What if I wanted to switch between the two? What I'm going to do is use this hot switch feature here. I'm going to hold it down for a couple of seconds until it flashes. I'm going to change that gravity to a positive value. And I'll tell you what, along the way, let's just change the room size and probably the low frequencies as well. Click that button again, and then you can see that we can use that button to switch between those two settings really quickly. You could automate that in your door and you can get some really nice variations to your sounds there. Now, another thing we can actually do is freeze the reverb, yeah? So that even when we stop the door from playing the source material, the reverb will continue. Have a listen. We'll stop the piano. And you can hear our reverb has continued. We can adjust things about it. Get rid of those high frequencies. Add them in, yeah? Anything we want to do, we can actually sort of make some changes while we've frozen that reverb. That could be a useful feature. Another thing we can do is kill the source material. So we could just kill off that piano and the reverb will continue like so. Okay, very handy indeed. So we can use that and just kill off that piano whenever we want to. Now, Here's the feature I talked about in the uh, intro, and I think this is a killer feature. I wish more plugins would have it, because sometimes we want to change several controls at once, but it's nice to be able to have one control to do that. Let's do that by adjusting the mix of this reverb, okay? So we want to change our reverb from a dry mix to a wet mix. What I'm going to do, rather than just adjust the mix control, is grab this little circle on the outside and adjust that. You can see now it turns into a range control, and we're adjusting the low end of the ribbon control. You can see it highlighted there, okay? So that's going to have a completely dry mix, and at the other end, we'll have, it have a completely wet mix. Now, if we use the ribbon control, Control, you can see it's changing the mix from a completely dry to a wet mix. Not very amazing in itself, but the fact that we can change other controls becomes really useful because if I wanted my reverb to become more wet, I probably want to remove, for example, some of the low frequencies. So I'm going to go to this low frequency control here. Again, adjust the outside. And when it's in its lowest position, I actually want there to be quite a lot of low frequencies. And then when it's in its highest position, well, when there to be hardly any low frequencies. Let's do the same with the feedback control, okay? So in our lowest position, I want there to be lots of feedback. And then in the uh, highest position, I just want, don't want there to be too much feedback. Okay, so now this ribbon control is adjusting all three of these controls at once. Let's see what happens as we start from dry and then get more wet. Very handy indeed. If you head over to Plugin Boutique at the moment, you'll see that the regular list price for this plugin is actually $199. But at the moment, if you head over there, you can get it for just $29. Follow the link in the description down below. <laughs> this is Infiltrator 2 from Devious Machines. It's a multi-effects processor. You can stack up to 10 effects at once, and then you can modulate and sequence them. And it's that modulation and sequencing which makes me think this lends itself to particular types of music. You'll hear what I mean in a moment. But first of all, let's listen to the track that I'll be applying it to with it switched off, and I'll be applying it to the sampled vocals that you can hear here. Fine, can't seem to always want it. 
Okay, so let's switch on. I've got this preset loaded up called Triple Track, and let's get, have an initial impression of the kind of thing that we can do here. Now, when you do load up a preset, in most cases, you get these macro controls at the top. Okay, so there's just four controls here, and I can make sort of broad changes to the sound of this preset using them. They are going to affect multiple parameters in a lot of cases. Let's just play around with a few of those and see how we can affect this vocal. I'm just going to solo it for a moment. I, ooh, 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 yes, to find now i am not going to dive into all of the controls that we get here there's quite a few of them so let's have a listen to a few more of the presets just to give you a flavor of what's possible here because that was a pretty subtle effect okay so i'm going to go into a few i've saved here let's start off with this one called dueling and see what it can do and another one here And that last one I loaded up there, modulated BPF2. You can see there's a lot of sort of modulation going there with this envelope here, um, probably adjusting a filter by the sounds of it. There's so much you can do with this. Let's just go to one sort of pretty hardcore preset here. It's called Trap Vocal Major. It sounds like this. So you can hear there's loads of things going on there with this sequence here, including some fairly extreme pitch changes there as well. As I say, I'm not going to go into all of the details. If this is the kind of thing that you like, then I definitely recommend head over to Plug Plugin Boutique. It's normally $115. There's $30 off at the moment, so it's just $85. If you're producing this kind of music, I can only imagine this is going to give you a really nice advantage. As we discussed earlier, you can get music production suite 5 at a great price at the moment now it contains both ozone 10 and rx10 as well and i've covered both of those in a lot more detail recently in these two videos so just click on the thumbnails there if you want to find out more thank you so much for joining me in this video and i'll see you in the next video